Hey guys, welcome back for another skincare reaction video. You guys really requested this one. It's a little bit different because I'm doing Vogue. It's Liv Tyler. She's apparently got this 25 step beauty and self care routine and this is their beauty secrets show and I'm gonna leave obviously the link to the original video in the description box below so you guys can watch it if you haven't already. I think you guys have all watched this video though because I got a lot of tags, I got a lot of comments, a lot of DMs from you guys. So I'm gonna see what's going on in here because 25 steps is, that's really extra. So let's see. Hi, I'm Liv Tyler and uh, you're here in my bathroom in New York and I wanted to show you some of my beauty secrets and tips and things that I've collected over the years. Um, that's my mom and my grandma in the back and they're my beauty inspirations and um, I think I've always been sort of enchanted by watching them do their face and their skincare routines and their makeup. Okay, so the first thing I do when I'm going to take my makeup off, this is so silly, but I have this scrunchie and I'm a big fan of scrunchies because someone once taught me that you can rip your hair out a lot when you use really harsh elastic bands in your hair and so even the way you tie it back is really important. But this scrunchie is um, like the chicest scrunchie in the world because it came from my friend's store in England and it's made from an old Hermes piece of fabric. So um, it's kind of special, but any scrunchie will do. I like to use like a kind of an oily cleanser um, because I can't use eye makeup remover. It really hurts on my eyes and irritates them and makes them water. So this one is really good. It's called Sarah Chapman and it's kind of gooey and oily, but it's also a cream. But I just literally rub it all over and gently into the lash and get everything out. Um, then you look really 90s grunge for a minute. I have a few different cleansers I use to like... I mean, I just love hearing, like, seeing those pictures of her mom and her grandma and like, you know, just... I, I agree, like there's something enchanting about beauty and that's partially why I got into the skincare industry and the beauty industry is because, you know, there is, there's something enchanting about that, I love that. Great cleanser, I love that she's about to do, she basically just, she's telling us she's doing a double cleanse. It does not have to be an oil oil, like an actual oil-based cleanser. Um, it looked like she used a washcloth right after to wash it. I can't comment on how rough she was or anything like that because they just sped it up. So, um, but for the most part, I'd say that that's totally A-OK. -okay. I'm curious to see what the cleanser is. Foamy cleanse, but this is one that I'm really, really loving right now. It's this Japanese brand, and it's called Chidoria, and it's um, made from pure silk and rice bran, and it's just this really beautiful, it's just a little bar of soap, and you add water to it, and you make this kind of lather. Okay, so to me this, it might be a drying cleanser. I don't know, but I'd keep that in mind. Whenever I hear the word soap, it just like immediately goes bad for me. But actually I just looked it up and it looks like it's actually a bunch of oils and stuff like that. So there's some coconut oil in it. It's one of those things where it's like formulated and stuff and whatever, it's probably totally fine. Um, you know, with these kinds of videos, I wish, I, I've noticed Harper's Bazaar, maybe they're doing it for me, they know I'm gonna react. Um, but they've started to ask their celebrities and stuff to tell, to tell us what type of skin they have or like the skin issues that they're dealing with. So I wish we had that kind of context behind this one because I see like there's melasma or hyperpigmentation happening. She did turn a little bit red so she might have sensitive skin. I'd love to know, is she dry, is she oily? All that kind of stuff. Secret to beautiful skin is exfoliation and keeping all the dead skin cells sort of buffed off your skin. Um, this one is kind of uh, an old favorite. It's called Astara and it's the blue flame mask and it's very blue, but it's got clay and mud and different things in it. So it's really good to sort of draw out any impurities in your skin and it also gives it a good glow. So I guess my obsession with skincare comes from when I was a little girl. My grandmother used to, um, after the bath, she'd get me out of the bath and lay me down and we'd, she'd moisturize my skin. And that was even when I was like six that I remember that. And she said, you have to moisturize every day to keep your skin beautiful and well taken care of and sort of fresh. So she taught me that at a very, very, young age and she also taught me about exfoliating 
and um, I also noticed that from my dad. My dad is so into skincare. When I go visit him, um, I usually spend half the time in the bathroom with him, just going over products, and he's got his whole bathroom is filled. But if you look at him, he's turned 70, and he has the most beautiful skin, but it's because he takes really good care of it. Okay, so now I look like a Smurf, and I'll let that sit for a little while. The more I do this stuff, the better I feel inside, the more calm I feel and then the better my skin looks on the outside. I love seeing like her eyes, her blue eyes pop suddenly. It has nothing to do with the skincare reaction um, when she puts this blue mask on. But there is something to be said about being such a calm, like having this calm, soothing demeanor. The less stressed you are, the better your skin will be, the better your life and your health will be. It's like proven. You know, I'm always talking about a chemical exfoliator. I know a lot of you guys like gentle physical scrubs, totally fine ways to exfoliate. Wearing a, a clay mask is totally a fine way to exfoliate your skin as well. Um, I haven't used this one, but I looked up the ingredients. There's the typical stuff, the like bentonite clay. Um, there's some oils in it and stuff too, so it's probably not gonna feel super tight, which is my big issue with like, you know, I know, I know a lot of people love like the Aztec clay for instance, um, but that gets too hard and too tight on my skin and can be very irritating in my opinion. So without all those oils and stuff, I think it's probably a much more gentle clay mask. Like it doesn't get super duper hard. I love hearing about her dad. You guys, fun fact about me, I am a huge Aerosmith fan, like, like, it might come out at karaoke how much of an Aerosmith fan I am. So just hearing even about her dad and he's a skincare fanatic makes me love him even more. So water is a huge important factor to having good skin. I know everybody says that, but sleep and water maybe are the most important things. And then I make this crazy green juice, um, which is hard if you don't have time. I know you can buy them, but it's better to get a juicer and make them. This one has celery and cucumber, a little bit of apple, some spinach or kale, like green things, your body loves green things. So you can make any different ones that you like. So drink green juice, it's really good for your skin and lots of water. So now I've taken the blue mask off. You know, you guys have asked me to do a video on like what you should eat and drink and stuff. She's right, you know, it's like that hydration from the inside, getting your greens from the inside. You could just eat salad, totally fine. You don't have to get fancy with your celery juice, your kale juice, all that kind of stuff. But she's right, you know, it's like being healthy from the inside out too. She's just got this demeanor, this like soothing demeanor about her that I really, really love and I feel like it contributes. Like when we think of Liv Tyler and we see Liv Tyler and stuff, it's one of those things It's like, she's very like angelic, right? And so I just associate good skin because she just feels very angelic to me. My face is a little bit red, but it's really good to also do a hydrating mask of any kind. And so this is a really nice one from Dr. Sturm and it's very goofy and thick and kind of just feels kind of cool and hydrating and moisturizing. So you put that everywhere. Now, I know everybody's talking about CBD oil and I have one here that's um, from this company called Lord Jones. It's really good. And I um, definitely suffer from anxiety. I get really nervous. I guess my job's kind of scary and it's hard not to be nervous sometimes. Um, just like public speaking and doing anything that's out of your comfort zone. Put a big old thing of it under there, but it doesn't make you feel stoned at all. We know celebrities love the, uh, the Barbara Sturm, so I'm not gonna falter for that. That mask is a hydrating mask. The second ingredient after water is glycerin, so it's it's a humectant. Um, and then it's got it's got a little bit of clay in it still. You know, the, she's essentially just using it as her humectant, um, but she is wiping it off, um, which is a little bit different. What I would probably do with that um, is I'd probably, and you know, I have to like feel it. It's got that Calen clay, so I'm not sure but I probably would put it on, it's got like almond oil and stuff like that. I would let it sit a little while and see what like goes into my skin and then I'd probably tissue it off. Instead of using a, a wet washcloth, her skin is starting to turn a little bit red, which you guys know sometimes I don't, I don't really like that because that tells me that you're creating this inflammation and then inflammation causes hyperpigmentation and yeah, the list like goes on. So I just wanna see this really quick. 
Now you can put creams or serums or different things. I really like hyaluronic acid. All right, so she's just adding that extra step. It's like, she's just fancy, right? Like, she's, it's like self-indulgence, which I'm totally okay with. She's sort of exfoliated again, to be completely honest, but with like something more hydrating, right? Like for someone who has like sensitive skin or dry skin, like that was actually the mask for them. So it was like, she was like replenishing-ish. She was just kind of exfoliating in a more gentle way the second time, but it's fine. She's just indulging in her skincare and I, I'm totally, I'm okay with that. That's, you know, sometimes that's what skincare is about. It's self-indulgent and it's fun and it's nice and it feels good. And it looks like that redness subsided like really quickly, so, I'm actually gonna let it be. I'm gonna put the Dr. Sterling one on. You don't actually need much. You can just put one dropper full or just a couple drops. But it's like a sort of a very thin gel and you just put it all over. Um, you can massage it in more. But it really is very deeply, deeply hydrating. It goes way in and penetrates. And one trick is I always put whatever I put on my face, on my neck, and also on the tops of my hands because I think your hands are like the very first thing to start to really look a bit old and dry and weird. This is the... You guys have heard me say this before, so I'm gonna just say it again really quickly. Hyaluronic acid serum, you guys know I love it. It doesn't need to be that expensive. It doesn't need to be. And I only point this out. I like to be fancy, you guys. I, I will spend some money. I will drop some cash on some fancy products. Um, but it's very infuriating to me to see a very expensive hyaluronic acid just because, like, not all hydrators are created equally. That's, you know, totally fine. But this one is just an overpriced hyaluronic acid. So I'll just point that out. Crazy, fun, very interesting thing, which is from a woman named Sarah Chapman in London. She invented it, and it's a kind of a facial massager. And you go like this. It feels really good if you're stressed and you clench your jaw a lot and stuff, but it's supposed to kind of help contour this part of your neck. I use it when I'm laying in bed. David thinks I'm very silly. <laughs> But I just put all my creams on and kind of get in there and you can do it up here even though it kind of hurts and looks very weird. One great trick if you get... I'm all for using those kinds of tools. It's like getting that circulation going in your skin. I'm all about lymphatic drainage. I truly believe in it. So it's just another one of those tools, you know. She says that she does it in bed after she's got all her creams on and stuff, which is actually the better time to use a face tool like that. You don't want to put it on right after you put your humectant on because you your humectant you actually need to rush and like put on that moisturizer or whatever that next step is because you don't want it to start to like pull the the water out of your actual skin like the hydration out of your skin and you don't want it to like dissipate it's kind of like you know it's a little bit thicker obviously than like when you've washed your face and it's still a little bit damp and you want to get your products on while your skin is damp it's kind of that same concept like while your skin is a little bit damp you, you want to get your next product on because it's going to work better um, and you're going to feel more hydrated Puffy eyes, um, which I get when I eat anything with salt in it or when I'm flying or anything, is to put um, these sort of like eye patchy things under your eyes. I keep mine in the fridge and sometimes on set, if I have a really early pickup, like a 5.30 a.m. pickup, which is brutal, um, I know a lot of people do, but I wear these to work sometimes in the car. See, I used to call myself the Avon lady because I had a cosmetic contract with Givenchy for 10 years. And it was for cos makeup and skincare. But one of the things I used to have to do is travel all over the world and meet with beauty editors and talk about beauty secrets and tips. And I found it so interesting that we all think we're all so different. But when you do something like that and you sit down with other women all over the world, everyone has the same sort of questions about how to take good care of themselves, wanting to know each other's tricks, how to find balance, what's the best cream. For moisturizing, I really like you. I, lo I love eye patches. I prefer you use it in the morning if, you've got, if you're dealing with puffiness, but you know what? Again, she's like indulging. This is one of those routines. Like I thought this was gonna be ridiculous and super extra and stuff, but you guys were tagging me and everything. But it just feels like a very nice, fancy woman's indulgent routine. And I, I totally appreciate it. You guys, I wanna be 
fancy like Liv Tyler. <laughs> She's like, I used to have a contract with Givenchy for years. The eye mask driving to work. If it's like a 15 minute work drive to work, totally fine. If it's like an hour drive to work, don't wear those on your eyes. Then it's just drying out. You're getting the opposite effect, right? There's like a certain time that you wear that because it's like wearing a serum, right? And once it starts to get dry, then that means that the serum's dried out. Your skin is now dried out. So. Just keep that in mind with those eye patches, but I love them. They do deep puff. They're nice and cool. Can you keep them in your fridge? I don't know. It actually depends on all the ingredients. I've been getting a lot of messages about like, should I have a fridge, separate fridge for like my skincare or keep my skincare in the fridge and stuff. Honestly, you guys, it depends on the products and the ingredients. I, I can't say like for sure. I don't bother. I go through my products pretty quickly, but something like that, cause you want to keep it cool, a skincare tool, something like that for deep puffing. That makes sense. Using oils on my face. This um, is called Rodin and it smells really delicious. It's so good to massage your skin, like really massage it. Just don't be afraid to get in there behind your ears and all over your neck. That's something my dad's really taught me. I know everyone says not to rub your eyes hard, but that's actually not true. You want to move your skin. You want everything to stay alive and invigorated and full of blood. I actually really like this, it's called a V. I'm actually okay with Liv Tyler using an oil like that Rodin one. Um, it is a really nice, luxurious oil. It is just gonna moisturize, pack in everything. More mature skin, I think, can handle a face oil like that. And she does have more mature skin. She looks gorgeous, but it's like, you know, when you think about that, it's like, as you're getting older now, we're going with these like rich, luxurious ingredients for your skin and stuff. This is when you start to need it. I agree, movement, circulation, you wanna get all that. Um, you do wanna still be gentle with your eyes, especially as you're getting older, because that skin is loose and you don't wanna tug on it. You, massage is different, like if you're like, rubbing and you're being very gentle and like pushing and um, using a tool and stuff like that but you don't want to drag and tug at your skin so just be very careful with that that's that's a different thing than massaging your skin and it's like a french pharmacy moisturizer i use this a lot on set when they're doing my makeup um it's good for under makeup more misting i really like this one it's i would have personally gone with the event moisturizer first and then topped it with the oil because you know, the event's gonna have a little bit of water as a main ingredient, water and oil, like, you know, all that kind of, you guys know, you guys know. I would've gone with the event moisturizer then topped it with the oil. She's about to put a mist on though. Sicily, and that's just kind of after you've done all the different masks and creams and everything just to sort of settle your skin or rose water or something. I don't know where that trend started. I really don't. She essentially just misted water on her face. She should have done this right before she started getting into like the hydrators and stuff. She could have done it like right before she did her masks even just to keep her skin a little bit more uh, damp so that the masks don't get too tight and everything. You just don't finish your skincare routine with water on your face. It's not gonna do anything honestly to her skin because she's got that oil and she's got a moisturizer to pack it all in at the end. So it's totally fine, totally fine. But it's not doing anything besides like just maybe making her feel like Ah, but that's not, it's not doing anything to help her skincare routine. My secret obsession of a passion of my whole life has been skincare. I think I would have become a facialist if I didn't start acting. When I start my makeup, I always put a little bit of Visine in my eyes to get, the, to get the red out. And this is a really nice product. It's called Glow Drops, also by Dr. Sturm. You can kind of press that in. You could even mix it in with your foundation a little bit. I use... So she's about to get into makeup. I'm not here to critique anyone's makeup. I've said this before in another video. Uh, makeup is very personal, very personal. That's a whole different kind of personal. But I will throw in there, watch it with the Visine. You don't wanna use it too often because then you can actually have the reverse effect with your eyes and that, that can be that you have to always use it to get the red out. Um, it's a steroid essentially, so it's not even essentially, it's a steroid. Um, look into it, do some research into it. You'll know what I'm talking about. The Barbara Sturm Glow Drops, so it's actually my favorite product by her. It's a really nice skincare slash luminizer. Um, overpriced, yeah, I like it. It's a little fancy, but I'll give some props where props are due and I really like her Glow Drops. It's probably my favorite product by her. So I'm just gonna fast forward actually through all of her makeup because I'm not here to critique anyone's makeup. Um, I will point out, if she's going out, maybe it's nighttime. Maybe it's just nighttime. 
um, but she did not put on her SPF and I, ex I expected Liv Tyler to have a strong SPF in there. So I'm gonna make the assumption that this is what she would do during the daytime then. And she's telling me she's not going out with, a, with an SPF, at least not with like a SPF on its own. I'm gonna fast forward through her makeup and maybe her makeup has some SPF, but still. Um, I expected, I expected Liv Tyler to have some SPF in there. Let's just get over to the end. I'm gonna fast forward all the way to like 15.30 and we'll finish this off. Let it dry naturally and then it just gives you a little bit of a glow. The trick for the way I dry my hair is kind of silly. I twist it like this. After I blow dry it, I twist it and I tuck it into my bra strap and I let it dry like that while I'm doing my makeup because then when you take it out, it just has like a perfect little wave. Um, and then generally it just kind of falls like that. But that's my sort of natural everyday makeup look where I'm trying to look like I have no makeup on, but I do have makeup on. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Um, I love skincare so much. This was really fun. Thank you. I mean, I just love Liv Tyler. She's like a classic, like, she's got that old Hollywood vibe or something like that. I just, it's hard not to like her. That little trick at the very end, that would never work for my hair, but good for her. I can't even leave my hair like slightly damp and leave the house. I'll look like a hot mess. But that was really interesting. I loved seeing what she does to her skin. She's got beautiful skin. Um, I don't even know how old Liv Tyler is now, but like, I was, I was a huge fan back in the Aerosmith, like, music video, Alicia Silverstone days, like, whew. I mean, I still am a really big fan, but it, it goes deep for me because that's, that's the era I'm from. Normally I would give a routine suggestion if I think it was like, you know, a big deal. I don't want to add anything. I, I actually, I do want to add something. I want to add an SPF if this is her daytime routine. Um, definitely want to add an SPF in there. I have a feeling Liv Tyler uses SPF or maybe it's just, I want to believe that she wears SPF during the day. You know, it's video. I always say that. It's like, sometimes we leave things out and I don't know. Anyway, um, so I'll give her a break on that just because I'm being biased. So you guys can call me out for it if you want to. Um, anyway, uh, the only other thing I would change is I would swap the moisturizer with the oil. I would not put on that face mist at the very end. It's just unnecessary. Um, but otherwise, you know, she's good to go. Thanks so much for watching this video. You can find me in our private Facebook group. I'll leave a link below in the description box. I feel like you guys have really become this like great community in there. A lot of skincare fanatics and I love it. Um, you can also find me on Instagram. I'm at Susan Yura, and I'll talk to you guys soon.